Hi there, this is Fred, FR5ED. The 5 is silent with a beer review. Today, I'm going to try, uh, actually I'll drink it, I'm not just going to try, uh, but I am going to taste, I think for the first time, Three Philosophers. Three Philosophers is a Belgian quadruple, actually not from Belgium, it's, it's uh, brewed in Cooperstown, New York by uh, Brewery Omegang. Um, but uh, they claim their heart is in Belgium. Uh, this is a very interesting beer. Um, their description, I'm just going to read a couple of excerpts here, bear with me. Uh, they say uh, it's a luscious blend of rich malty ale and cherry lambic. Uh, it's, there's flavors of dark chocolate and cherry cordials. Um, they say it's a powerful, mar powerful marriage of cherries, roasted malts, dark chocolate, blah, blah, blah. I'm just kind of reading excerpts because they have very flowery uh, speech on their website. Um, according to Rate Beer, uh, they're kind of claiming responsibility for this one. Uh, it says, uh, it was, it's remarkable limited edition. It's a strong ale brewed by Brewery Omegong in response to a home brewer's description of their dream beer. Um, Real Beer, I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry, RealBeer.com, Rate Beer doesn't claim this, RealBeer.com, um, it's the largest beer website, had a contest called Create a Great Beer, and uh, this brewery was chosen, and this home brewer's uh, recipe, not recipe, but his description was chosen, and this was the result. So anyway, the ratings, okay, this is on ratebeer.com after 1,923 ratings. It's a 99 with a 94 in style, and the style is uh, an Abbott-style quadruple, um, or an apt or quadruple, so... <laughs> You know, that's some high praise. And then uh, on Beer Advocate, it's a 92 after 1,649 reviews. Um, so very, very highly regarded. I don't like the idea of flavors um, because this, on the bottle, it says it's 98% ale and it's 2% ale with cherries added. Now, a lot of brewers out there, uh, craft brewers and home brewers, are adding all sorts of things to beer. And I'm you know, getting uh, used to tasting some of these things. You know, Cigar City puts cedar in a lot of uh, their, they have a humidor series. And it, you know, sometimes I really like it, sometimes I'd rather not taste it, but uh, everybody has his own style that they like and don't like. But I'll tell you what, this should be interesting. It's so highly rated by so many people um, that I had to try it. Now, here's the thing. After I turned the bottle sideways to read the label, one of the things on the label said, don't agitate the beer and interrupt the yeast sediment. So anyway, I've let it sit for another 10 minutes or so, also because it says to serve at 50 degrees, and this has been in a sub-40 refrigerator, so I'm trying to get it up to temperature too. So let's give this a pour. Almost had a, has a reddish look coming out of there. Uh, pour gently, pour gently. Wow, nice head on there. Very thick. Very thick. Okay, I'm just going to stop before I get to the last few drizzles there. This is, um, I'm going to move it over into some light for a moment. It's clear. Got a lot of carbonation bubbles on the sides of there. Well, I take that back. There, there It's definitely got some uh, sediment and some particles floating around in there. I'm back. Um, and it's got a, uh, a brownish amber... Um, color to it. A deep, deep, deep honey brownish amber. Um, I'm going to smell it now. Yeast. I definitely smell the yeast. Not an unpleasant smell at all. Yeast is one of the four main ingredients of beer. And we wouldn't have beer without yeast. We wouldn't have fermentation or alcohol without yeast. It's a very foamy, uh, you know, dense foamy head on this. Do you smell the yeast? Smells a, a sweetness to it, a fruitiness. I guess I'm getting some of the hops in there too. I wasn't expecting any hop aroma from, from a Belgian quadruple, but it's just such a blend, a candyish, uh, sweet smelling aroma. Let's give it a taste. Here we go. That is not something I normally would reach for. Ignore my winces. It's, I'm, I'm going to give it three sips to get my palate coated with this before I comment on it. Don't take that initial 
face as uh, a judgment. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. Now I think I can give this a facade taking up that time. But I really wanted to coat my palette. And speaking of, my palette is really coated. There's a... Um, a tenacity to this that clings um, like an oil, but it doesn't feel or taste oily. I'm just saying there, it definitely has a surface tension that is is clinging. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, for the taste, I like Belgian ales. Uh, I like quadruples. The first beer that really got me started on craft beer was a Belgian quadruple. Uh, called Konigshoven Quadruple. It's a La Trap um, beer, Trappist Ale, um, and it's made in one of the only eight uh, the beer the beer making monasteries. There's seven in Belgium and one in Holland, I think it is. And the one in Holland is Konigshoven, but they're still considered Trappist. And everything else that claims to be a Belgian ale that has to be called Abbey style. It can't be called Trappist if it's not one of those eight. I believe I have those facts correct. Well, if they're facts, they're correct. I believe I had to have those tidbits correct, which would make them fact. Anyway, um, the Konigshoven Quadruple is kind of the benchmark for me in my limited experience. I really, really like that uh, for a good experience of a Belgian quad. This has a very similar base taste to it, but with the addition of the cherry lambic, it's, that's giving it a little bit of a cherry taste and a little bit of a sour uh, edge to it to, to con you know counteract the sweetness. I'll come back in a second. Let me take another sip. Mm-hmm. Very much Belgian style ale tasting, but that little bit of cherry comes through and a little tiny tiny bit of tartness. I, it's hard to call it tartness with so much sweetness um, in the forefront, but it's there. It's very complex. This is, it's very tasty. I'm, I'm got to think about how I would rate this. Mmm. And it's warmed up to the perfect temperature. That is tasty. You know, it's not my first choice. Um, if I were reaching for a Belgian quad, um, at the same time, I definitely would give this high marks in that category. Um, I guess I'm going to give this about a 3.75, which sounds low compared to what other people are rating it. It's just, it's, for me, it's an overall. I'm comparing this to everything I drink, I guess. And I, to try to keep it within style, which is a limited experience for me. Um, oh, I guess it, within style, I guess to be fair, and I've been doing that with the other beers that I'm new to. Um, within style... <laughs> A four. Okay, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to give it a four uh, within style, uh, just because it it is very good. It's a Belgian quad, you know, not a Trappist, but a Belgian quad style. And uh, it, you know, if I'm in the mood for a quad, this is very quite good. This is quite good. So that's it. I don't know if that was helpful or not. Uh, you know, what will be helpful is for you to go down to your nearest purveyor of such beverages. And pick up Three Philosophers, Belgian Quad Style Ale from Brewery Omegong in Cooperstown, New York. Cooperstown, Coopers something. It's in New York. So give that a try. This is Fred, FR5ED, over and out.